Greetings Keystone team. Really exciting to be coming to you again with a powerful video of one of our teams that really makes a difference for the kids in Northeast Iowa. This month we're going to focus on the Brain Injury Resource Team and the work that they do to really change the lives of students and families who need their support. I'm so inspired by the experts that we have on our staff and when you hear the stories and the families and the kids and how we change lives every day, uh, you can't help but love the fact that you work for Keystone AEA. So so here's a great video about our brain injury resource team and how our professionals are changing the lives of students in Northeast Iowa. Well, the Keystone uh, Brain Injury Resource Team is a team comprised of five individuals that have been trained to provide support to parents, uh, students, and our school teams um, to better educate them on brain injuries and how to support the, those individuals in the school setting. about yourself, Paul? Um, well, I like to play sports. I like to play baseball and basketball, and I have fun playing sports, and I have a lot of friends that play sports with me. When Cole was born, he was a perfectly normal, healthy little baby boy, our first boy that we had in our family. Um, so we were really excited, and everything had seemingly gone really well with the delivery. Um, and it wasn't until we went to his three-week um, well child exam that we discovered that something wasn't quite right. Um, we're very fortunate to have um, Sherry Kelchin here in Cascade who noticed his head had grown at a very rapid pace and she um, sent us in for a CT scan as a precaution and it turns out um, the CT scan showed a mass on his brain um, so they sent us to Madison, um, where we went to the children's hospital up there, and we found out the next morning um, that Cole had had a massive stroke um, around the time of his birth, and uh, it had destroyed 40% of his brain. And then on top of that, he had um, subsequent hydrocephalus that he was dealing with that was causing his brain to swell. At 13 weeks, uh, we started to notice that um, something wasn't right again. Cole's um, head was swelling up a little bit and his eyes weren't looking up. So we had to go back to Madison and um, basically did uh, had to make a quick decision on what we wanted to do for his surgery and, and we were fortunate to have um, an amazing pediatric neurosurgeon up there. He um, performed a state-of-the-art procedure on Cole to go up and um, clear the blockage that was preventing the fluid from draining out of his brain. We stayed in the hospital for several days after that and they sent us home with follow-up appointments here and there and that was it. And we were on our own with a baby who had just had a massive stroke. So um, it was a very scary time for us, for sure. I remember he wasn't meeting his milestones with crawling and walking and talking. We got connected with Early Access um, and Keystone and their brain injury team. It was really, it was a really scary time because no one could really tell you for sure what his outcomes were going to be. So, um... <laughs> yeah, every case was obviously different, unique, and so you kind of you didn't you did yourself a disservice by looking it up and and, and um, seeing what other kids were going through and um, so it was a really I think we probably put a lot of extra fear and stress in ourselves <laughs> worrying uh, worrying about the unknown if we only could have had a snapshot into the future to see what he is like today it would have done us <laughs> it a would lot have of saved us a lot of <laughs> sleepless nights for sure. But yeah, it was it was just a it was really scary because we didn't know if he we didn't know if he'd be able to talk, if he'd be able to walk, if he'd have weakness on one side, if he was going to have seizures. Um, we just really had no idea, and and no one could really tell us for sure. So, so starting from when Cole was a baby and Keystone first came in, um, Janet Felton was one of our first contacts, and she was like an angel to me because she came in to the home while I was still on maternity leave. And, and when I 
was back at work and she, you know, just was so helpful to me in reassuring and, and giving us things that we could work on with Cole, even as a baby, which isn't something I think people always really realize there's so much mm -hmm. you can do even with a, a little infant um, and, a, and a growing baby that can help them and help their brains develop. Keystone was able to just bring in multiple resources for us right into our home. And then once he transitioned into school, Keystone was played a critical part in um, providing Aquin with the information in the background at a level that I wasn't able to do on what, what types of things were gonna work well for Cole given his injuries, knowing you know, knowing exactly what kind of stroke he had, what what that meant for Cole, and, and what techniques they could utilize at school to help him. I have been with Cole since the very beginning here, um, kindergarten, we, and the resource team has been awesome. So when Cole first came to us, they were right in when we knew that there was some brain injury that was in Cole's background. We met with them, they met with Cole. Then from there, they sat us down as a group. Um, after that, they kind of gave us ideas of knowing what his injury was and what that was affecting on what strategies and supports we may run into that would help him. And if we had issues with some, like how could we go about fixing those areas? A huge piece of Cole's success was the fact that his school team was open to having those conversations, open to thinking outside of the box, to doing things a little bit differently, maybe challenge, being challenged on their thinking and trying stuff just a little bit different. So Amanda is amazing. So she understands Cole so well. She understands his personality. She understands when he's getting frustrated. She knows what he needs. And then when you couple that with the support she's getting from Keystone and the brain injury team where they can give her some of the tools and techniques to use for his, you know, from the medical side of things maybe a little bit more, the scientific side of things, um, it's just, it's really been a great combination. And, yeah. and you've had Mrs. Heger with you? For a long time. So, for as long as you can remember probably, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you and Mrs. So it helps a lot when you know someone and you can like get help, the help you need. Because she knows you pretty well, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So with those things that they had us work with him on and those resources, I think there was greater growth than if we didn't have that support. We knew what to grab for. We knew what to research. We knew what to use with him that was already research-based for individuals that had brain injury. I think I'm most proud of, of how much I learned from like the help I've got here. And then so that it's like, I don't need as much help now as I did when I was like younger. We're really proud of Cole. I mean. Yeah, he's, um, I don't know, he just seems to relate to everybody and, and I don't know, he, he just seems to bring out the best of everybody. What's, what's your dream? What do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a football ref and ref games. So you watch Super Bowl though, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do. How would you rate those refs? How'd they do? Not very good. <laughs> I thought it was like a zero out of ten. I was <laughs> so football is the one sport you don't Can't, get to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you but other than that, love you can play to watch lots it. Of other sports. And yeah. he he's just found with football. You've just found other ways yeah. to be Apart. involved in the yeah. sport. So you're a football mm -hmm. manager for your. Junior, junior high, high. team, mm -hmm. yep, and you want to be an official someday, yeah. or a coach. Mm -hmm. I think you could be a good coach, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have any advice for other kids that may have had challenges when they were little like you? I think my advice would be, like, whatever you have, you can still beat it. Like, there's nothing you cannot beat, and you can just keep trying and trying and trying, and then it'll pay off, and then it'll be, then it'll work out. Oh. Pretty good. <laughs> I want to thank the teachers that helped me through all my years of being here and getting the help that I needed. Because without them, I wouldn't be here right now. A 
I hope you enjoyed Cole's story as much as I did. It really brings into context the work that we do here. Sometimes it's in large groups, sometimes it's in small nimble teams like the Brain Injury Resource Team. But again, sto stories like Cole's, his, his teachers, his families, that's why we're in business. That's why Northeast Iowa is better because of Keystone AEA.